Welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? <laughs> Alright, check this out. This is a good one here. Um, we got a 2000 Dodge Ram van, 1500. Now, here's the complaint. Uh, customer had a leaking transmission. Um, he needed, needed the seals, but see, we don't do transmission work. So they took it down to a local uh, repair shop. Um, and, uh... You know, this is, you know, and uh, this part right here, what I'm about to say, this is, hey Maxine, hey girl, um, uh, South Main Auto, um, one time you made a, a comment of, about backyard mechanics and people who rip you off, I'm going to show you what I, this is what I mean by in, in Rocky Mount, usually I don't care, I'll mention the person's name, but, you know, I'm going to give them a chance this time, because I've heard, I haven't heard anything bad about them, and and now I ain't, I'm not liking what I'm hearing. The customer took it down to them to to reseal the transmission. Everything was fine with the car. They get it back. Um, first of all, it's slipping. He takes it back. It's a quart low in transmission fluid. They put that in. All right. Leaves. Check engine light pops on. Now, of course, you know. A check engine light can pop on for any reason, and it's just might have been a coincidence. So um, he takes it back to them. PO505 South Main Auto. I want you to know what that code is, and I do too. Uh, they told him he needs a computer. I said, all right. While he's there, another customer pulls in with a BMW, yelling at them. They forgot to put antifreeze in the car. <laughs> so uh, they're filling that up and checking that out. But um, I get here and the customer sh shows me and he, pull he starts the vehicle up. Without me seeing anything, I'm going to set the camera up in front of this van. And I want you to listen carefully. Now remember, this light wasn't on before this and now it's on. And we know PO505 has to do with um, the idle. I had a control cylinder or something like that. All right, so let's start this vehicle up. Before I even put the scanner up there to check the codes or anything, you know, the, the customer got a German Shepherd. Her name is Maxine. Check this out. The dog jumped into the wheelbarrow, playing with the water. That was funny. Maxine, you're a funny girl. That's Maxine. That's the customer's shepherd, three-year-old shepherd. She's funny. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> let's set this let's set this camera up in front of the van, and I want you to listen. All okay? right. Listen to what you hear, and um, just tell me if you heard it before I get to the solution of the van. All right. Let's set it up. And we'll be right back. Okay. Here we are in the front of the van. Now let me go start it up. Let's get a little closer here. Now, I noticed this is off, but you know, there's no mass airflow or anything. Get closer. Alright. Now that you hear that, continue to hear that. Let's put our scanner on it and um, verify the check engine light. Alright? We'll be right back. Okay, uh, I know that noise is kind of annoying. Okay, we got the light, got the key on. Okay, let's go into here, go up here. Enter, let's go into global. I know that noise is annoying. Let's try to get it back up a little bit out of the car. Let's keep, enter, enter. Let's go in the scroll down to diagnostic codes, read codes. Let's 
tempting. Come on, come on, come on. Linked. All right, here we go. And the results. Idle control system malfunction, PO505. All right. Now, by this time, you should pretty much uh, have an idea what, what we're going, what's going to, um, what we got to start on because, yeah, let me shut this key off. Because we heard a vacuum leak, a serious vacuum leak too. So let's uh, take this, let's pop this cover off. The dog house. And let's look inside the engine, alright? Let's get that off and we'll be right back. Alright, here we go, we got the cover off. And uh, let's uh, start this up now. I definitely hear an air leak somewhere. So let's take this uh, air cleaner off and see what we can uh, find here. Get this wire out of our way. No. Oh, wait a minute. I hear a little air over there. Now here's our idle air control valve. Plugged up. Let's get us a light. And uh, go over this system better. All right, let's get a light. We'll be right back. Okay, we got a little light here. Now what I'm gonna do is, uh, especially around this area, you got the vacuum line going to the PCV valve, and we got the one going up to the brake booster. And uh, also, what we want to do is take out this idle air control motor. And, uh, check it for operation check it for any because a lot of dirt and grime builds up on the tip of it so we want to take that off and clean that up also so let's pull this hose off over here let me go get me a pair of pliers and get that and be I'll be right back okay got me a screwdriver over here let's try to Off. There we go. Ah, let's take a look at this hole. See what we got here. Wait a minute. What is that? Look at that right there. There's a crack right in that hose. You know, instead of replacing this hole, that definitely will cause us give us that vacuum. This is main vacuum coming out of here. Let me get a pair of snips. We're gonna cut it off right at that cut. And we still got a lot of room to play with. All right, let's go get a pair of snips right back. Okay. Look at that crack at. All right, right there. So I'm gonna take these scissors and I'm gonna cut it right about there. Cut that piece off. Get rid of that. Let's hook this back up. All right. Now let's start this vehicle up. Yeah. I don't hear that. Remember when I had it running before? You heard it in the front. We heard it. Vacuum sucking in like crazy. Um, now it's not. But uh, I definitely still want to take out this idle air control valve and clean it up and install it. That will definitely throw off your vacuum. Because if you got a vacuum leak, it causes the engine to idle up high and the idle air control valve is going to try to adjust that. And bring it down, it might get to the point where it can't go no more and it's going to trigger that light. So, you definitely want to check your vacuum leaks. 
I mean, it's running good. <laughs> All right, let's get us a T20 Torx, two of them. And we're gonna take this idle air control valve out. Let's shut this vehicle off. Let's unplug it. I hate that noise. And at the same time, you know, we go over here and we check the pins. Everything look clean and good on the pins. You want to check those and make sure none of them aren't recessed into the plug, which will make a bad connection too. Okay, let's get that off of there. Now, if, if you come across, if you got the PO505 and you don't have, um, a, you know, you checked and you don't hear a vacuum leak, you heard just me or just what I just heard, and everything is good, then um, more than likely it's gonna come out to be the valve or the plug. But uh, let's get that two bolts off right there. Dang it! Drop the socket. Okay, let's get those off. And join me when you come back. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, I got the two bolts out. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Man, that's got some junk on it. What the heck? <laughs> and let's go clean that up. Let's go and go over here. Let's get us a rag or something. And clean this tip off. You know, and just to be on this, let's look at the plug, look at the connectors inside, they look good. All right, now to clean, really clean this off, I'm not gonna spray it with no carburetor to clean nothing, but what I am gonna do is take a wire wheel and clean that off. So, let me go take a, a little wire wheel. Set this up right here. All right, let's get this thing. Okay, you can see, nice and clean, all the way around, and then what we're going to do is take us a rag, and we're going to go clean out the inside of the throttle body, where that mounts to. So let's go over here. So ran can clean out inside, especially further back with a with that plunger, that needle, where that sets at. So you want to make sure you get all the way in there and get all that dirt out of there. You can and don't be afraid, use some carburetor cleaner on on the rag and clean that out. Put your hands in, clean out, good. Alright. Let's get that mounted up back in there. You know, make sure you got your blue o-ring right there because that seals it if not you're gonna have a vacuum leak and remember the plug-in faces toward that way all right let's get our two screws and put them back in here and tighten them up all right tighten them up and when you're done join me okay we got everything hooked up and everything now, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna feel, I'm not confident right now. So what we're gonna do here is test the drivers that's from the, coming from the computer to the idle air control motor to check, to make sure all this is good. And to check that, you know, um, this is where you're gonna need some special equipment. Or you can use a, 
multimeter could be two multimeters actually to do this the right way but what I'm going to do is hook up what's called the Vantage Pro from Snap-on it'll actually check all that and it'll tell me which wires to hook it up to and everything all right so let's go get the Vantage Pro and we'll be right back all right I got a Snap-on Vantage Pro here and I'll put the vehicle in and let's go to DC voltage test all right, now over here, what I like about this, it'll tell you exactly where to hook up everything. It says connect test leads. Yellow to IAC driver 1, green to 4, and black is ground. Now, if you're not sure about the about which, which wires go to what, on there you see we got four wires. Back over here. Let's go over here to the connector harness. All right. A is 4, D is 1. But what's good about this is I noticed A and D, 1 and 4, which they want me to check first, they're on the opposite ends of the plug. So let's get that hooked up first. Let's go out here. Sometimes I hate working on vans. All right, so what we're going to do here is I got two, if I can find them, these little piercing, for piercing test, piercing test wire. Hook them up. See that little point there? That grabs onto the wire. These are good to check. So what I'm gonna do is pinch one, the top one, and I should have a black one over here. Here we go, a black one, and we're gonna go to the opposite end and connect that one. Now, let's see here. It says uh, one and four. Okay, yellow. Let's take our yellow connector. I'm gonna hook it up to here. Make sure it don't touch nothing else. You know, uh, ground in the, anything else. And we take our green lead, and that's gonna connect to the black one. You know, I'm doing this with one hand. It sucks. Let's see, here. let's get this thing connected up here. All right. And then it says black to a known ground. Yeah, anything over here metal is ground. All right, so we got it all connected like they wanted. Now, what did I say to do? Okay, once we connect that. This hookup checks one coil in the IAC. When finished checking, go to two and three. All right, no problem, I can do that. Key on engine running, normal engine, normal, uh, normal operating temperature, no load at idle, increase accessory load, headlights, high blow fan, channel one and channel two should show mirror images of each other. All right, so let's get this thing, let's get this rag out of the way here and make sure we got everything. Start this van up. They are mirroring each other. They look almost identical. To each other, 13 and 18. Seem like they switch off. Let's uh unhook this and check the other two. Alright. Matter of fact, let's cut cut a load on. Okay, we got the eight. Oh that used to feel good. <laughs> Alright. Let's try to hook up the other two. Alright? We're right back. Okay, we got the other two hooked up, the two inner ones. If you're noticing, it's like it says, mirroring each other. Just like a reverse. Now they told them they were getting the wrong voltage up here. That's wrong. <laughs> it says 
plant things in there with no glitches or dropouts. I don't see no uh, those little drop right there, but I think that's from the adjusting because they both did it mirrored each other at the same time. Definitely good. All right, let's get this unhooked. We'll be right back. All right, we just unhooked it. Let's get out of here. No, go back. Let's shut this off. Okay, we're sitting here putting this back together. Um, here's that that holes uh, also very important when you get a cold like this you know checking for air leaks you want to check your air filter where's the air filter at? to look at this thing people are like why what does the air filter got to do with it <laughs> because um the only way this engine gets any air is through that air filter unless you got a vacuum leak like this one has so if this is not getting enough air, that idle air control motor, you know, goes to adjust, and it can't, you know, just as much as it can, but it's still not going to get no, here it is, air, oh, this is kind of, what the heck is that, what a book, man, what the, freak? all right, now a good way of checking an air filter is hold it up to the sun to see if you, you see any light coming through, I know it's kind of dark here, I see a little light, I mean, a little light. Uh, so uh, this thing is going to need an air filter like now. <laughs> so we're going to leave this out so the customer can change that. I'm going to go over here and we're going to disconnect. I mean, well, we're going to disconnect the Actron. But at the same time, we're going to clear that code out. All right, so let's clear that out. And then we'll be right back. All right, there you have it. You got to check out this Austin. Look, dang it, look, look at them chase each other and have fun. Funny. Get a Maxine. 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 <laughs> Max. She ain't listening. There's the other one. Are you hurt? You hurting? Maxine, are you hurting? <laughs> You can hear her, she's out of breath. <laughs> there's one, there's the, there's the other one. <laughs> Alright, we gotta, we gotta get back to work. Alright, let me put this camera book. Okay, okay. Alright. Oh, there you have it. Just like I said before, you know, they told the guy you needed a computer. Um. South Main Auto, this is what we're talking about down here in the south, you know, down here, in, well, down here in Rocky Mount, these people will, these shops, you know, they will rip you off, all right, <laughs> simple as that, I ain't about to have it, vacuum leak, air filter, clear this code right up, idle air control valve, cleaned it up and all, you know, it's as simple as that. If now, if the other tests would have came out good, if I didn't have a vacuum leak or none of that, then I would went on to do a resistance test on the idle air control motor. I know from the computer, the drivers, I know it's good. So, anyway, that's how it comes out. That's the proper procedure of checking this out before you going on on replacing parts. All right. This is Timmy from Astral Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, not a damn soul can. <laughs> Nobody can. Check out later. I'm good, I'm good.